All right. Thanks, Mike. A 25-year-old Reno man was the first person in North America confirmed to catch COVID-19 twice. Well, he tested positive in April, recovered, then tested diff a positive for a different strain in June. His symptoms were reportedly even worse the second time around. As Paul Nelson reports, this reinfection study tells us that even if we catch the virus and recover, we still might not be immune to it for very long. Scientists are still learning about the long-term impacts of COVID-19, including immunity. Lancet Medical Journal published a manuscript about the reinfection case in Washoe County. Dr. Mark Pandori is one of the authors. He says it provides important information. We're going to win the war against this virus by adding to our knowledge base, by gaining intelligence. It's actually like any other war. You gain intelligence and then you use that intelligence to go after something. The Lancet report is peer-reviewed, showing the findings are valid. There's also four other reinfection reports in other countries. The Reno case could provide some guidance for people who recover from the virus. The results are very important for us to understand that uh, not everybody that uh, gets COVID-19 is going to have immunity um, even uh, during a fairly short term uh, moving into the future. Vaccines for other coronaviruses can last one to three years. He says it's possible that a vaccine might actually work better than our immune systems and provide the ability to get a boost with more doses. We don't know yet, okay? But with there are reasons to believe that a vaccine strategy to immunity would be better because vaccines can focus the reaction onto the part of the virus that might be its Achilles heel, so to speak. The Reno study also speaks more about natural immunity than it does about the possibility of herd immunity. I think this does not impact herd immunity so much because the only way I think we were reasonably gonna get to herd immunity with SARS-CoV-2 is through vaccination. Covering the story, Paul Nelson, 2 News. Well, one of the findings is that an infection can be worse the second time around. The Reno man was hospitalized during his second bout and had very low oxygen levels, we're told. Pandori says hand-washing, masks, and social distancing are all very important, even if you've recovered.